hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Gail and today I'm gonna try to uh, navigate the new Northern Mariana Islands website okay cuz the last time that I created a video about NCLEX application was like a few years ago so it's no longer the same so I'm trying to navigate it with you guys so let us go to the website which is the same, still the same uh, web address, www.nmibon.info. Okay, this is how it looks like now. And as you can see, they already accept online payments. During my time when I applied for NCLEX, there was no online payment option. I had to send a check. So I had to send a check that is a U.S. check they wouldn't even accept a uh, bank draft at that time. So, I mean, Philipp from the Philippines. So it has to be a US check during my time. It was 2018 when I applied. So let me go to this tab, NMI portal or NMI nurse portal. So as you can see, it's prompting me to create an account. So I'm gonna use another person's account I'm gonna try to create this account for a friend so create an account so terms and conditions for you so just click on I agree so it's just about uh, the conditions or terms and conditions about the use of this portal I agree and then do you have or have you ever held a license or certificate with Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing? Siyempre, it's no. Kasi my friend is still not a registered nurse in the U.S. So let me type her email address. It is, hold on. JDLC1720 gmail.com so let me j d l c 17 at gmail.com okay so this friend that i'm telling you about is just an imaginary friend I just didn't want to mention it because I might get dinged, but yeah, I'm doing this for the sake of presentation. So I hope another Mariana Islands will forgive me. Stairs. So yeah, you'll have to go through these types of verification just to make sure that you're a real person. So this is very common. Oh my god, this is not ending. My goodness, crosswalks, 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 crosswalks. Okay, I don't see any crosswalks anymore. Oh, there you go. Okay. Finally, let's just click on continue. And it says here you must access the registration link within the next 24 hours to successfully complete your registration. If you do not access the registration link within 24 hours, you will need to restart the registration. So it says here, check your spam, junk, trash, deleted items, or archive folder. We'll send the email from no-reply at nmibon, boardofnursing.org. So you can quickly search for it. If it isn't in your inbox, check the folder. If a spam filter or email rule moved the email it might be in the spam junk trash 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 deleted items or archive folder make sure that you're getting emails or uh, you can just uh, click on recent verification emails so let me see it says 24 hours so hopefully i'll receive it right away Hold on. Okay. 
One moment, I'm just checking. So I'm now gonna check my email. Actually, I did not. Uh, I tried checking it on my phone, but I was not able to record the audio. So I just logged in through my laptop. So I'm going to my email and yes, I received the link. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the link. So it just says here, let me just go back, hold on. So this is the email that you'll be receiving from NMI. And then it just says here, so this email was used to start your registration at Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing portal or nurse portal. Please use the link below to verify your email. You will not be enrolled in NMI BON or Northern Mariana Islands Board of Nursing nurse portal until your registration is complete. This link will remain active for 24 hours. After this time, you need to restart your registration. If your browser does not open, when you click the link, please copy and paste the link into the address bar on your browser. So let me just try it again. Although I was able to open it, so this is how it looks like when you open it. It leads you to uh, a page wherein you have to fill out your information. So let me try to do that right now. So first name is Juana. And then last name is De La Cruz. Okay, date of birth is... put her date of birth it's not giving me that option hold on okay my date of birth is September 17 1980 1980 okay and then no social security yet so let's create a password. So I'm going to create a password. Mm. <coughs> okay, confirm password. Mm. Password's long. Let me try. Okay, one uppercase, okay. So I'm not putting in a phone number because uh, she's from the Philippines and they, they're not going to contact you anyway and it says optional so no need to put in the cell phone number and then just go through the same verification process again. So it's looking for the stairs. No, I don't think. Let's try this. Motorcycles, motorcycles. Okay. There you go. And now you can create the account. <coughs> so I'll just save my password so it's easier for me to log in. So this is how it looks like now. So previously we didn't have this type of page there's no signing up whatsoever so now it looks like this okay they have improved a lot so as you can see there is an option for online payment let's see if there's really an option for applicants from the philippines or from outside the u.s i'm just gonna show you how it looks like and what we want to do is 
to apply for a license but before we do that let's just read the points in here or the, the notes in here it says this page is to apply for your NMI license applications for licensure or renewal must be completed by the individual nurse and not by a third party if an application is completed by a third party a signed and authorized authorization must be submitted so it's not really a total no for people to apply through a third party because there's still an option for you to apply through a third party there's just additional requirement which is for you to or for the third party to have a signed and not arise authorization okay providing wrong information will cause delay with the processing of your application please review your answers thoroughly prior to submission so so our goal is to apply for a license so let's click on apply for a license there are options here so let's look at the options here it says endorsement so this is not our goal our goal is to apply for initial exam so this is what we need to choose uh, since we are foreign educated okay for endorsement this is needed for people that are already licensed in a in another state okay foreign educated that are licensed in another state for example if they are licensed in new york and they want to apply to northern Mariana islands then this is the the tab that they need to choose so let me click on this one rnpn foreign educated or rn registered nurse or practical nurse that's what it means so click on it so you're not choosing lpn you're choosing rn and this is where you can find the instructions in order to apply for an ml nmi bon license and collects application sorry sorry let me correct myself this is where you're getting instructions on how to apply for NCLEX examination okay NCLEX examination pa lang to. so number one requirement is the payment which is $170 I don't see an option for you to pay using a credit card through the portal the only option that I can see here is US cashier's check US money order or US bank draft so you have to check your bank about sending a payment okay and then the payment needs to be paid to nmi board of nursing so they they have a po box address so this is where you're gonna send your payment and it says here applications will not be reviewed until such payment is received so you have to make sure that they receive your payment otherwise they will not review your application it will be pending so number two requirement is birth certificate certified and true copy of birth certificate it shows here upload so basically you don't need to mail it anymore during my time we had to mail it upload certified and true copy of marriage certificate if your name changed due to marriage or divorce submit a divorce decree showing your name change if you want you would like your if the one in the birth certificate or the one in your application is your former last name and you've already changed so that's what you need to submit so basically birth certificate for single people there's no need for senomar for married people you need to submit a certified true copy of marriage certificate if you're already divorced and you had your name changed you have to submit a divorce decree showing that your name has changed so upload number three requirement upload an original u.s passport type two by two photo with white background that was taken within the past six months so it's very self-explanatory and there should be a signature in front so visible signature on the front bottom so this is just below your face okay you have to have a visible signature and 
uh, colored background will not be accepted. Okay? Very easy. Another one number for upload a photocopy of your passport. So see, you just have to upload it. Number five, official college transcript of records and the required certificate of related learning experience. So this is the only one that you need to mail. Okay, this needs to be mailed directly to the BON office. So it's, it's just the same as the address here. That's where you are going to mail it. Documents will not be considered official if it does not have the official seal or authorization stamp affixed. Foreign applicants must have completed a BSN nursing program. So in here, because some of you might ask, can I mail it directly? The answer to this is, it could be a yes. Okay, I, I'm not uh, very sure about it. Because during my time, it has to be mailed by my school. That was the requirement during my time. It has to be mailed by the, by the school, otherwise they won't accept it. But based on what I see here in number 5, you're just required to send an official seal. Oh, sorry, uh, your documents that has official seal or authentication. You just have to mail it. So it does not show that. It does not show here that it the school has to mail it so that's how it that's how i understand but to be safe i'd rather you just have to have your school mail it that's the safest okay and then it says here college official transcript must specify pharmacology course so this is very important if you don't have pharmacology in your transcript of records it's uh, it's an issue they will not approve your application Another thing, I have friends that uh, have their pharmacology uh, written in their RLE for some reason. I don't know why. It's in their related learning experience, but it's not showing their transcript of records. They will accept that as long as there's pharmacology. Okay, number six, high school transcript. An applicant may upload his transcript on the portal, but it must have the school seal or authentication stamp affixed so as you can see you don't need to mail it anymore unlike during our time we had to mail it the school has to mail it or sorry in, during my time the school or my school my high school had to mail it but now you just have to upload it okay as long as it has the seal or authentication stamp you are good number seven change of address and or name an applicant may update address and name on the portal must upload legal proof of change in name such as certified and true copy of marriage certificate or court order so marriage certificate like if you are a, a single person and then you got married and you, you had your name changed then this is what you're gonna show for court orders like if you just had your name changed not because of marriage like if you don't like your last name and uh, for some reason the, the court has granted your request to change your name then a court order needs to be submitted if an applicant does not provide any updates information on the latest application will be followed so even if you've changed your name but you have not updated northern mayana islands about your name change then they will just have to go through uh, they will just have to go with the former or the name that you have just indicated in your application. Number eight, if an applicant has his BSN more than 10 years prior to application submission, a certificate of employment must be sent. So you have to send a COE or certificate of employment if you have graduated more than 10 years ago or 10 years or more. So it says here the COE must be on a company letterhead with an affixed signi signature of the company's representative. The COE must be specific to any nursing related field within the past five years upon submission of application. So the COE must show that you've been working as a nurse for five years in any nursing related field. So it may not be, in my understanding, it may not be bedside nursing as long as it's nursing related for example 
you work as a clinic nurse, you work as a school nurse, it's still accepted as long as uh, you've been a nurse and you've been practicing as a nurse in a nursing related field for five years. It says here, if an applicant is unable to provide the COE, the applicant must complete either of the following board approved refresher course list. So, if you're not able to, these are the refresher courses that you need to take for NMI to accept you. So, let me just click it. Let me just see what it looked like. So, okay. Or, all right, these are the these are the tests that are, these are the courses that you need to take. It says any of these. Practice pack, live online. NCLEX, prep nurses, trust nurse. Okay. All right. No, it's, it's kind of expensive. Mm, let me look at the other link. I don't think these are the courses because these are an NCLEX prep courses. I don't know. Maybe maybe yes. Practice pack, prep course, prep course. Or these are all prep courses. These are the ones that you need to take if you don't have a COE. You've not practiced at all in the past. Next. Let me click on this another link or other link. What am I saying? Okay, nurse refresher program okay so the nurse refresher program has three focus areas you just read this and this is the one that you need to purchase so you have to pay for this basically so it says cart check out oh, okay so let me just go back okay so again if you don't have a coe or you have worked but it's not five years then you need to go through the refresher courses here that the BON requires so for additional information all you need to do is to email uh, NMI BON email them or call them the time zone at NMI is almost the same as the Philippines so you have to call them during uh, normal business hours you don't have to call them uh, during night time because, like I said, we have the same time zone. I mean, the Philippines has the same time zone, almost the same time zone as NMI. If not the same, it's almost the same. Let's see. Upon approval by the board, so there are only eight requirements here, okay? Eight requirements. So, for you to not be confused, you can just go through the requirements over and over and over and over. That's the that's the thing about doing a DIY application you have to do it by yourself so you have to read you cannot rely on on anybody it's just you well I'm doing this video to help you out but of course you have to do your due diligence because I don't know everything okay so the secret to, to a successful sorry about that the secret to a successful DIY application is for you to read and read and read over and over. Okay, let me read it. Uh, let me read this part. Upon approval by the board, applicant will receive an eligibility notification in which the applicant must register with Pearson View to take NCLEX. So, you can register for the exam through one of the following. So, once they have already approved your application, normally they send an email during my time they send an email telling me that they, they've already appro approved my application uh in here because you you already have a website you probably will just uh be able to log in and see that they, they've already approved your application that's what i understand <clears throat> that's what i i am just assuming okay so but you can follow up either way you can email or you can just uh wait through email and or you can check the website okay so once you already receive the email just go to Pearson view and register for your exam you will receive your authorization to test so basically once you've registered you will receive your authorization to test and you must have your ATT for entry upon arrival at the exam test center you will not be admitted without the ATT okay 
So this is just when you already receive your approved application. I suggest you print this page so you can just go back to it at any time. Print this page or save it on your phone. Upon receipt of the ATT, applicant may schedule his or her exam. So there's a payment for the ATT. There's another payment. So when you register to Pearson View before receiving your ATT, there is a payment. And then there is another payment to schedule your exam. So I don't have an update yet. I might be wrong when I tell you the, the price. But during my time, when I registered for Pearson View, I had to pay $200 and when I uh, scheduled my exam, I had to pay $150. So $350 in total at that time. I don't know now, okay? And then, so I'm doing this in English. I'm doing this in English or a little bit of Tagalog because some applicants are from different parts of the world, okay? Uh, they cannot understand Filipino. So let's just... Please just bear with my English because um, I'm using my Filipino accent. <laughs> and sometimes I stutter. Even when I'm speaking Tagalog, I'm still stuttering. So please bear with me. Okay. So the ATT has an expiration date. So please avoid unnecessary delays. No extensions will be granted if your passport is expired. So passport. This is also important when you go to sit for your examination. You need your passport as a proof of identity okay aside from your authorization to test you need to to bring your your passport that is updated not expired so i suggest while you are processing your application so for the sake of this video like for the sake of this application like if you're applying now and you have your passport but it's about to expire like it will expire in about a year maybe well you can just submit the you can just uh submit that particular passport but you have to renew it right away okay you have to renew it right away so that whatever happens like if you need to to go to the u.s immediately then you already have an updated passport right you don't have to like uh, cram with your passport application especially that you will be preparing for your exam you don't have to worry about it anymore so i'd rather tell you that apply for an updated passport right away so see last part is after an applicant passes the exam the nmi bon will issue a license electronically However, the applicant may opt to request for a hard copy of the license and certificate. More, in, more information can be found here. Let's see. So if you want a hard copy, you have to pay for a mailing fee. So license card. Wow, they have a license card already. During my time, we didn't have a license card. So submit this completed form along with a non-refundable fee of $50. Wow, they have a license card. I didn't have a license card. Or if you want a certificate only, you have to pay $35. If you want license and certificate, you have to pay $50 and $35. Accepted mode of payment is through online. So that this is where you can make an online payment once you already have your license. Or once you already pass your NCREX and you want a license ID card or certificate. Amazing. So... Besides your license and certificate fee, you have to pay a career fee of $50 or like if you're anywhere in the world, $50. If you're in Canada, $30. If you are within the U.S., $27. Um, paying for career fee does not mean an expedited process. Okay, so paying for a career fee does not mean an expedited process. This parcel is for tracking purposes only. So, yan. Hindi pwedeng madaliin kung ano talaga yung processing time. You'll have to wait. So, all you need to do is to fill out the form below. So, just uh, click on 
any of these whatever you you need or whatever you want to be sent to you just fill in with your information so last name first name pretty straightforward ilagay mo dito yung mailing address mo put your mailing address here telephone number so this time you have to put in your telephone number wherever you are and then your address and then your license number once you already pass your NCLEX then click in your license type your social security it says it does not show that it's required because you may not have your social security yet okay you, you can only have your social security where, when you already come to the u.s so just skip this portion and then put in your date of birth okay so this is what you need to do when you'd like your license and or certificate to be mailed okay okay so let's click on next so this is what you're gonna have to fill out <clears throat> excuse me so here it says rn license type okay application type save and continue so i already have in uh put in my name or i mean the name of my imaginary friend and then gender is required so female so as you can see the genders are male female non-binary choose not to answer okay your race asian okay hispanic or latino in origin no country of birth so put in i see i sorry where is it let me see if it's gonna be it's not giving me the option to just type i'm trying to type p but it's not letting me so i guess i just need to s to scroll until i see philippines there you go <coughs> and then address I'm gonna put my address it's in the Philippines I'm just gonna scroll all the way down okay Philippines so I'm gonna put in an address here block 12 lot 13 I'm just gonna put block because they might not understand okay mm. okay this is just a makeup address Olivares Holmes Binian Laguna Four zero two four. Primary number, cell phone. Zero nine three three. This used to be my phone number in the Philippines, but it's not working anymore. Okay. Okay, as part of this application, so basically. The application is done through a web form. We, this is what we're doing now. This is a web form. So you don't need to download the documents that I ask you to download <coughs> in my next, uh, in my previous, previous uh, video. Because there's nowhere to be found. You cannot find those documents anymore. And you don't need those documents. So... As part of this application, please submit one original passport to buy two photos as stated in the guidelines. Proof of identification and then there is an option to upload here. So just upload. Okay, add a file. So I don't have any photos here. 
the moment because this is a new <clears throat> this is a new computer we just bought it recently oh oh my god oh these are the files that came from my phone because i use the same apple id oh my goodness so i'm just gonna use this one for the sake of uploading <clears throat> so that's how you're going to upload so copy of marriage certificate yeah this is where you're gonna you're gonna put it marriage certificate divorce decree okay photos Okay, so copy of your passport, just upload it. So as you can see, I'm only uploading uh, any photo for the sake of this presentation. But of course, you have to upload the real ones, okay? Okay, and then save and continue. So education, let me just... So education, high school, so you graduated maybe uh, 1990, 1999 maybe, something like that, or year 2000, high school name, <coughs> so let me change the country because Philippines. goodness Philippines uh, my high school is for example Binion National high school uh, uh, Binion I don't know the address Binion Lagoon I'll just put in something. This is not the real address, okay? Pinbar. Okay, and then using education. So I'm have I'm gonna have to change the the country again. <coughs> My goodness. my goodness p philippines i'm not sure why i'm not getting an option to just choose p i mean just put in p and then it will pop up the the countries that's whose name starts with p or which name start with p Sorry for my grammar, other. Oh. No, no, no. Program name. Okay, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Hold on, let me see. Okay, and then. <coughs> You know what? Let me try again. So R N. So just put the address, like put in Binyan. <coughs> hmm. I'm thinking of address of street names in Binyan. Like Langkiwa. Okay. I don't know what to put in. Graduated. A 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Eh, me lo skip. With uh, here, baccalaureate degree nursing. <coughs> so I graduated, or Juana graduated like March 2004. I know, no, no, no. 2004, maybe. <coughs> or 2005, for example. Please select the education program that you are using as the basis for your licensure. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Please upload your high school transcript. So I'm just going to upload whatever is in here for the sake of this presentation. Okay, save and continue. Have you ever taken NCLEX RN? No. If you have taken NCLEX in the past, then click on yes. Testing accommodations for upcoming NCLEX. Do you have any required accommodations? No. If if you click on yes, it will give you like this information or this page. It says, please provide a brief description of the accommodations we're requesting in the box below and upload a copy of the completed special accommodation request your registration with person view must be in before approved accommodations can be added to your file applicants requesting accommodations will not be issued an att until the accommodations have been approved so i'm thinking maybe for this is for disabled people i'm not sure but if you have any accommodations like for example, you might you might need. I don't know. You might need like if you're deaf, for example, you might need something that will help you. Maybe a louder headphone. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about this, but just click on here and just type in whatever accommodations you need to to tell them. Otherwise, click on no. <clears throat> Did you take NCLEX in another jurisdiction? No save and continue so this is another one that that is required did you pass cg and fns exam so this is optional so you may not answer it did you complete your bsn more than 10 years prior to application so since juana graduated 2004 so it's been over 10 years so I'm gonna upload my CO or wanna COE. So okay. Do you have any disciplinary proceedings? Oh, I I assume no. If you have, just don't be a nurse anymore. <laughs> just kidding. Do you currently have an investigation or compla complaint pending on a nursing license or a privilege? to practice in any state no are you currently suffering from any condition that impairs your judgment or that would otherwise adversely affect your ability to practice safely no are you currently a participant in an alternative to discipline diversion or peer assistance program no Let's see are you currently the target or subject of a grand jury or governmental agency investigation no <coughs> For any criminal offense not previously reported to the board, including those pending appeal, have you? Um, you may only exclude minor traffic violations, but must report all DUI charges. So no. Okay. DUI means driving under influence. So these are like any pending cases. So no. So here it is. So your form is already filled out online using the web form of this portal. And the application fee is $170. See, it's very easy now. You don't have to submit the form that I've discussed in my previous video. So save and so just click on submit. 
Oh, at the station required. Let's see. Okay, I have to click on. I certify that I am the person referred to in the foregoing application for the registration as a nurse. Okay, submit. Okay, it's very easy. Okay, it's processing. So applications will be re will not be reviewed until such time payment is received. Accept accepted modes of payment are U.S. cashier's check, money order, bank draft. Payments are made available, made payable to NMI BON or NMI Board of Nursing and can be mailed directly to this address. Like I said, you have, you might want to print the instructions that you've seen early, earlier so that it's easy for you to just go back to it. Okay. The application ID 5053 must be included in the memo. You Applications are reviewed upon completion of requirements in, or in the order it, in which they are received. Please allow an appropriate amount of time for review of the applications and associated documents. Okay, perfect. So we're done. So we're done. All you need to do at this point, since you're already done filling out the form, you've already submitted your required documents online. All you need to do now is to submit your transcript of records and RLE through your school that is supposed to be signed and authenticated with school seal. And you have to pay $170 through these modes of payment and you have to mail it to this address okay so once they receive your payment then they they are going to review your application and you will receive a notification it did not say how you are going to get notified but since you already have an online portal you can just check on your portal to see if you already received an approval or they might email you or if you have any questions, just contact BON, uh, the NMI BON. Uh, you can look at your, let me go back to that page again. I cannot see it. But anyway, there is, this is the email address which you can contact for more information. Okay, contact at NMIBON.info. Okay, so we're done with the application. I wish you all the luck. I wish you all the luck. Or God bless to, you, to everyone uh, who will be applying for NCLEX. I hope you all pass your examinations. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.